Uh, I'm going to be talking about the ATP system, the glycolic system, and oxidative system for D2. The ATP system is an anaerobic system, so it doesn't use oxygen, and it has happened by the one adenosine and three phosphates, but the third phosphate breaks its bond to the second phosphate, which causes energy to be released. Uh, it then makes the adenosine and the other two phosphates ADP. To make this back to ATP, it must be resynthesized, but it must use energy made from a different system to resynthesize these. If you don't resynthesize these, we can't use them again. Uh, it lasts about 10 seconds. Uh, glycolic system lasts about 60 to 90 seconds, and you are able to use this for jogging and light sprinting. Um, this is this happens by the body breaking down glucose and also allows your body to work at a higher rate for a little bit longer. The oxidative system uses oxygen to help your body work, etc. And um, it tends to last for maybe sometimes a few hours. Um, it's used especially when there may be a corner in football and you stood at the halfway line as a defender waiting for the ball to come back to you. Uh, glycolic is used maybe when you get the ball from a corner and run to the other end. Uh, they can be used in many different sports but some sports use all three or two but some only use one spe specifically like sprinting only uses ATP and marathon running only uses oxidative. Um, that's about it. The oxidative is a mechanical system so it, it mechaniz it's a mechanism what powers your body.